you are made of God. Heaven Letter Number 5535 January 19, 2016 What are you made of? What are you truly made of? When all is said and done, and all the nonsense is put away, what remains? This is what you are made of. You are made of God. Yes, you, you are made of my love. Ah, if you could but accept this and put away all of the toys you acquired along the way, how happy you would be. Clutter, however, is precious to you. You have been sidetracked, beloveds. There is so much that is superfluous that you like to believe is essential to you, including all your idiosyncrasies. You cannot quite imagine what would become of you if you were less covered by your personalities. I say personalities plural, because your personality is adorable and sweet and also belabors the world and you. Your personalities play around in the fields of life. These detailed declivities that you run with keep you where you are. Of course, you would like to change this and yet, at the same time, you are attached to the old which you would do well to lay to rest and remove from the shelves of your past. Leave the past uncluttered. Let the past go to sleep. Often my children are simply hoarders of the past, collectors of what no longer exists, yet is kept alive for all blame sign, kept alive no matter what the cost, just the way too many of my children store up possessions in rented storage and wind up spending a fortune on physically accumulating the past. The relics from the past are no longer of good use to you now except as collected pieces that you stuff somewhere. All they can do now is collect dust. Remember you are oneness, and oneness is simple. Oneness is basic. Oneness matters, not old vestiges that are hard for you to part with. Embrace the new. Possessions are not really possessions. They are ideas. A table is a named idea. It is not truly a memento. What is truly of value is light, not heavy. Don't keep the past close to you simply because the past is hard for you to part with. You can only postpone what is inevitable. What matters in the world? You matter. Life matters. Make room for love including love of yourself. You are far more than you have known. Start learning now. Reduce the superfluous. Keep the gold. The gold is your essence, not a wedding gown, not your stuffed teddy bear from childhood, not anything from the past. You are living life now. You no longer live in a cave of the past. Come out of the past. Your past may have been momentous. It no longer exists even as you may make a memorial to this long gone past. You are your present journey, not an old one. Past thoughts trip you up. Be aware of accumulating the past and pulling it up to the present. Accumulation of the past is like saving tokens that are no longer valid. Past tokens are of no good use to you. They hold you back from the light of today. Something does not have to be gone for you to value it. This dream you have entered into does not last forever, and that is a good thing. Dream the truth you are living right now as I remind you that you are the fullness of all that I am. At the very least, I invite you to sit with me at the king's table. You will discover that you belong right here with me. You will come to discover that you have always been right here with me, even as you were gadding about in this short-lived world of fleeting illusion. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org